if just like Old Spice would sponsor some Smash players, so they could just bring Hand them out. Yeah, sticks of deodorant. I can't say though, this is one of the um, better smelling tourneys I've been yeah. to. Yeah, well it's not too crowded, we actually, because if you've been to any of the bottomies in the past... Yeah, it's usually the uh, basement. Yeah, the carry basement. Uh, but what happened last year was we had a bob me that was over 100 entries, which is the most we've ever had. And so we knew if we had something like that again, we couldn't do it in the basement because yeah. it was ridiculously hot. Um, so we upgraded and uh, it hasn't been too bad. People were kind of concerned because we have to charge a venue fee now, but it's, it's only five dollars per person, so yeah, it's not too bad. Not that bad. Yeah, so uh, I think it's a good transition, and hopefully, uh, people will see the quality here and want to come out more. So, yeah, it's definitely uh, not as much bumping in people. Yeah, <laughs> I, I want to say immediately that this is on green team side. Not based on players, but based on character choice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's the Puff Samus combo is a little weird, but uh, we embrace it. Yeah, I think uh, I think just because. Well, no, I, I was gonna say Luigi snuffed out a lot of missiles, but you're not gonna see a lot of missiles in this team. Yeah, and I think Luigi's okay versus Puff too, but uh, Michael Puff is really, really good. Um, He's number seven on our PR here, yeah. which is kind of weird because he's actually from Illinois, but <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, he's a student here, so it makes sense. Yeah. It works. He's also number one on Netplay, so I don't think he's number you're one. looking to get trashed online. Michael, I don't, think he's number one one. Huh? I don't know if he's number one anymore. Yeah, he is. Is he? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I play Netplay sometimes. Skill. He's still up there. He's on like a 300 game win streak or something. Good God. <laughs> I think he purposely picks, like, total scrubs to play against. That's my theory, but... Maybe. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, he just got that Neon Luigi, but no one's there to add cards. Ooh, okay. Missile to the face for uh, Puff there. This one's a little more, uh... Uh, he just... This is a little more janky than uh, what we just saw in the last match, which was uh, Rick and Lance versus Jonas and Voorhees. Uh, I was gonna say, Jigglypuff might be head just based on the Luigi coins. Oh, wow. Like, I'm not sure you can just. Yeah, really so green clean. team cleaned it up there. The hard thing, I think, with these characters is, you know, you wanna hold center stage, but, you know, you don't really wanna stand still versus Puff, who's throwing out back airs, yeah. and Luigi's kinda moving all over the place. Same with Falcon, so. Uh, the dynamic's definitely gonna be a little bit different here in terms of what they want to accomplish. I think a really hard thing for green team is going to be recovery. Both oh, the yeah. characters have super streamlined recoveries. So if they're off the stage at the same time, odds are they're just one of them might make it back, but both of them are Yeah. And it's hard also for those characters to help each other recover. Yeah. You know, you don't have a lot of moves. Luigi has like Nair or Fireball. Yeah. But Captain Falcon can't really hit Luigi without knocking Sending, him away yeah. from the stage or knocking him under Battlefield. <laughs> but, I mean, Battlefield's start is neutral, so... Yeah. Um, we'll see. Oh, that's an unfortunate SD there from uh, Blog Guy, right? Yeah. See, and when Samus is recovering, Jigglypuff can just wall, mm -hmm. and it's the same for when Jigglypuff is recovering. Samus just walls them out. Yeah. They don't have to help each other recover, because they can pretty much go from anywhere. Yeah, I mean, they're both good defensive characters, so... Yeah. I did like, though, how Green Team was kind of trying to wait it out uh, when they were recovering, but... Yeah. Again, like you said, it's just hard to... Yeah, they didn't really make a wrong move, they just wasn't... They like, 100% move. <laughs> move. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh. He's he's got to watch out with those knees, man. Yeah. That has happened so much this game. And Luigi goes down. Yeah, it's gonna be bad. But also, Captain Falcon's extremely volatile. So, and these are floaties, so they'll die pretty quick. It's a knees. But that's we're trying to cover that's everything here. Looking pretty definitely. All right, just miss the old game one. Yeah, I definitely think if you're gonna play a combination like Luigi and Falcon. Uh, making sure that you have the coordination to not hit each other. Yeah. You know, you gotta really... You both uh, have a lot of kill moves. Mm -hmm.
And they're considering counter picks here. Pokemon, uh, probably a good choice here. Yeah, it gives them a lot more room. Yeah. I mean, they're definitely going to want that horizontal space. And uh, the fact that the ceiling's low will help just with killing the yeah. red team, so... And there's an extremely quick kill. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but um, yeah, green team's really looking to just kind of hug the inside, although they kind of play right underneath those platforms, uh, trying to hold like a really large amount of space. Yeah. The bombs everywhere. Yeah. I was actually, uh, I saw him do that earlier. I he does it just, if he's on top of the platform, you can't really just go into the bombs to attack him. So yeah. it kind of gives him that safety and a little bit of time to wait. And it's not like it's going to kill Jigglypuff anymore. Yeah. It's a pretty safe option. That's also where it becomes kind of janky. They want to focus on Jigglypuff and get rid of her because she has yeah. the kill power, but you can't because Samus will just shoot missiles and crap. Yeah, I was going to comment on that. I think there they should have turned their focus around and just taken care of the Samus, who yeah. Samus, you know, a little bit lower on the tier list, a little bit harder to defend for herself, especially against two opponents. So, yeah. Um, and Jigglypuff can stay on that ledge. Yeah, I think that's game. something they really need to watch for is they need to keep Samus in check because. The thing with Samus is he doesn't. She doesn't really have to go in. Once she knows where she's at, she can just start shooting you. Yeah. So regardless of whether you're fighting her, she's probably still doing damage to your team, or at least causing trouble. Yeah. Making you have to shield and possibly not cover an option while you're trying to deal with the other, the Julie Pop. So. Yeah, definitely. I like the counter pick. I just think they need to use it a little more here. Um, and just, yeah, just kind of control. Ooh, that was a really... Wow. <laughs> that was an awesome up beat. I did not... That was the last thing I expected. I thought he'd, like, narrow shield think, or something. Uh, I don't think any of them expected it either, so... But he knew what he was doing, so, you know. There that you go. That was the sickest up beat I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> he almost got both, because the Samus was coming back to him. Yeah, he saw he couldn't get him back. He was just chilling, waiting for him to come back so he could team fight again. Mm, that could be it for Luigi. Yeah. yeah. No jump. But it lasted a long time, and uh, Falcon's been able to get some good damage on the other on the red team, so... Yeah, now they just need to get a setup for a kill, which mm -hmm. isn't too hard for Luigi or uh, Captain Falcon. They got plenty of moves to kill with. Yeah. The but transformation now they here play. is gonna get in the way a little bit, but... Yeah. Ooh. And it's probably gonna take that stock, yep. Yeah, I'm wondering if Jigglypuff's gonna die here. Nah. Okay, they went for Samus. I can see yeah. that. As a pup player, you know, he knows he, he should be waiting and wait for his teammate. Yeah. He's not going to 2v1 anybody. Good defensive nares there. I kind of like what Blah Guy's doing. It's kind of weird, but he's just jumping. When he doesn't have an option, he just jumps and throws out moves. Yeah. Which so. is, yeah, and it's good because uh, Luigi can actually trade with uh, Julie Buff pretty well. Like that? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, uh, yeah, just having those hitboxes out, like, making them have to rethink how they're going to approach yeah. if they do approach. Yeah, and this is always my <laughs> my thing about Samus is it's hard. Oh, okay. I, that, was so. kind of, that was pretty scary. Yeah, actually. definitely. But yeah, it's good. always a test of uh, of your temperament when you're edge guarding a Samus. Who's yeah, just, test of your patience. Yeah. <laughs> All right, game two goes down. So I like, I feel like they're like, I don't want to say warming up, but they're kind of learning the matchup as they go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, how do you prepare for a Samus, Samus Jigglypuff? Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> they weren't playing it great there, but they never really played it better than the first game. Mm -hmm. Even if it was still close, they clutched it out over the other team. Yeah. So. 
and we got a pants shy here. We got some nice plaid shorts. Uh, good choice. Comfy plaid. Oh wow! Wow, that, that was rush. quick, but it's not. Yeah. It's and Luigi just, waited it's there to yeah. help him, you know, make sure. Chuck one teammate and the other teammate. Uh, okay. That knee was, yeah, that knee was really good. I don't know how I feel about this pick. Uh, I think for green team, it's kind of a similar situation where they have the horizontal space. The only difference is the ceiling's a little bigger, so yeah, there's some survivability for red team. But, but like, at the same time, red team's trying to, that, I like that. I actually love that forward air. Yeah. Um, at the same time, though, red team, just like with the rest, you want to kill on the side, and if you don't get the kill, then you only did like 20%. Mm -hmm. So, I, I don't know. But it I, might just be preference, though. Yeah, and also, there wasn't really a better counter pick here. They won on Battlefield. They would have yeah. either had to go back to Stadium or Yoshi's, which is pretty small and might not be favorable for them. Uh, so, just not a lot of options, I think. A lot of weird stuff happened with that short you can a second ago. Yeah. Luigi's an odd character. Yeah. Hey, did you, did you, did you I, I mean, wait, why? Oh, you're leaving? Oh, okay. uh, I'm surprised the coin spike did not let him get back to ledge. But yeah, I mean, okay. green team's just kind of holding on here. Yeah, Captain like Falcon's saying, tanking that, pretty that hard. That horizontal space is really hey, it's, it's on my end. I'm assuming the band was Dreamland. Uh, so yeah, probably. Keep the horizontal. Get rid of the black. But oh my gosh, Sam is the Oh, <laughs> it's that sweet spot. Yeah, two fingers in the face. We'll uh, see how that's back. Yeah. I mean, you can try that. This is where it gets kind of iffy because I want to say like green team is leading. But it's so hard to kill Samus and so easy oh, to kill yeah. Captain Falcon that it, it's all over the place. You but I think tell. I think they really need to work like just keep that stage control. Uh, we've seen a couple times here where Samus starts doing that, where she starts shooting some missiles. And they immediately just recognize and head in. Oh, that was a very <laughs> Thanks, Misfire. Lucky Misfire. One in nine, right? Oh, I, I think, think yeah, he, he expected to yeah. grab ledge first off, so, uh, and that happens, but you just have, it's still a close game, so, uh, it's important not to let those kind of things get to you, especially when you're in this kind of setting, so. Yeah. But. I was going to say, I want to see how they take care of this. Oh. Team. oh. Man. That's really unfortunate. I was just about to say, man, uh, Kit really hold on to that stock. Yeah. But, and that's been really working for them because, like you were saying, it's really easy to kill Captain Falcon, but the fact that he's been able to hold on to these stocks is what yeah. is really helping them out here in Game 3. I think it's half because he's leaving most of the edge guarding up to Luigi. Mm. He hasn't really stepped off the stage this match. Yeah, but he doesn't have to because since he's a tank, like a stock tank, I mean, his real goal is just to stay alive, and Indeed Luigi damage. can throw out those, like, easily tradable uh, aerials. Yeah. You know, basically they can just hold the lead by just throwing out an air or a back air or whatever. Yeah. And if Luigi even goes down here, oh my god, another wow. upbeat. What the heck? He's hitting all of these. Yeah. If he gets, if either of them get a down air, it's a good both then. Yeah. Because Captain Falcon can either knee out of the down air, back air, he's got plenty of options, and then Luigi's just yeah. <laughs> down air's great. Yeah, and they have plenty of stock, stock to work with here, yeah. so... They will see another misfire. Nope. Okay, so he. Uh, uh, oh, green. See, that was a little bit sloppy from green team, though. I think they should have. Uh, this is bad. This is yeah. very bad. Somehow that just got turned around to a one v one. Okay, that's it. Now this match got to steal that. Almost, a, almost a comeback. Uh, yeah, close to a comeback. But, I mean, luckily they closed that game out because they definitely had some a, little, a couple shaky moments. Yeah. There. 